great breakfast and it's been so wonderful to be out here in nature and for Robert and I to have this campground to ourselves. It's just been amazing. So I told you in my Kitchen Essentials um, video on the, my series of, I'm, I'm struggling this morning. I can't remember what my series was called. Oh yeah, the, my 10 top van essentials. I, I shared with you that I do cleaning with these three bottles and uh, my blue is water and pink is dishwashing soap and water mixture and green is my DIY Windex ammonia and water and so I've uh, cooked my first breakfast outside this will be my first time to do cleanup outside so it's a little feels a little different than what I do inside but it's the same thing I take my dishwashing liquid um, and I spray I start with my um, silverware cooking utensils I spray everything and sometimes because the water the bottle doesn't like to tilt you have to pick it up so I go through and I spray everything once I don't spray these with soap that's my I, I do them with water but I spray those and then I go through and I do one good squirt with water. And then these do get water. And then I just begin wiping everything down. And then I'll go through one more time after this and do a rinse with water. But I, and I normally do this as I go along and cook. And a lot of people might think that that doesn't get everything clean enough. But I promise you, it does. It's amazing. And keep in mind that I've been doing this for a year and a half. And um, cleanliness is very important to me. I'm not a germaphobe, but I, I do have to have everything pretty neat and clean. And I, um, I, don't, I don't do dirt. And so I, this works for me. It might not work for you. Um, I also sometimes have to get a, a Brillo or something like that out if I need to, but for just a general cleanup, this works. I do the once through first, get all the food stuff off, and on this one, because we've been outside and everything, I probably will do another round of soap and then, uh, then rinse. But inside, when I'm doing them as I go along, I usually don't have to do that. Of course, I don't dump them on my floor inside, but I can since I'm outside. It's kind of nice. Oh my gosh, bees! They swarmed the van yesterday. They scare the padukey out of me, but so far they just kind of fly by. They haven't really bothered us, but they scare me to death. Okay. Back to cleaning. <laughs> I'm really freaked out right now. Uh, that was a lot of bees. I don't know if y'all could see them or not. Robert tried to capture that on film, but I'd say there was at least 50 to 100 bees that, that just flew by, but they were en route somewhere. I don't know where they were going, but they knew where they were going. So I keep my uh, trash bag handy. Okay, so I think I've recovered from the bees. I actually had to stop and, and, and regroup for a little bit because they, there was a lot of them, like probably 50 to 100. I've only seen bees swarm like that when they've been dislocated from their hive. You know, a house gets torn down or something, or an old barn, and they stick around for a week or two. But uh, uh, I know they're not going to hurt me. They're, those are honey bees, but still, it, w it was disconcerting. So back to what I was doing. <laughs> All right, so I have gone through and I've sprayed with my dishwashing detergent once and my, my water once and wiped them out. And because we did cook outside, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Most of the time, as I go along with whatever I'm cooking, only one time is all I need to do that. So I spray, and I usually turn these over and get the back side as well. Spray. Spray, 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 spray spray and then once round with water and wipe it down with one of these half paper towel things and I usually can just put that right back in my uh, uh, silverware container in the van but I'm out here and I don't have it with me 
get a paper towel to lay those on. Nice and shiny clean. I love it. Spatula two. And then just wipe them out. And I will repeat with water to rinse. Reminds me the other day I was doing dishes in the van and Robert's granddaughter was visiting me. Her name is Haley. And I was doing dishes, wasn't even thinking. And she turns around and she goes, you pray me! Because I'd gotten some of the spray on her. So I guess it does splatter a little more than I think it does. But it's, it, I, I never, it's not an issue inside the van or I wouldn't do it. Um, it doesn't get things wet. It, it, it just works really well for me. And you can tell in a minute when I do the, uh, when I do the, the water paper towel from rinsing that there's not going to be anything on the paper towel. Everything's going to be really, really clean. And uh, coffee then is ready for the next day. I just love it. Good to go. I don't drink coffee during the day. Sometimes Robert does. But I, I always clean every time I do, do make a, a, a pot or a, a round of coffee so that they're good, ready to go when I am. with water. See, clean, clean. And then usually as I'm uh, wiping these out, I just put them right back in the, in the basket or on the shelf where they go. See? Clean. So this system really works for me. You'll have to find, if you're out van dwelling or if you're new to it, you'll have to find a system that works for you. A lot of people use Donner's or vinegar. Um, I, you know, a lot of people don't use the traditional dishwashing soap and everything like I do. And then I, I just take my last paper towel and I wipe down my kettle and my stove and everything. Um, but anyway, a lot of people use more organic uh, material to do their cleaning with and everything. And I do get the benefit of that and... and recommend it if that works for you um, for me I just uh, out here I'm doing what I've kind of always done always used and uh, but I, if um, I, I may change one day to the more organic stuff so that I'm more healthy but for now for today this is how I do it and now I put everything up and I have a clean kitchen and ready to go again I hope you got something out of this and I hope you find something that works for you that's just as easy when you're on the road We'll see you down the road, everybody. Bye. Bees, bees. Robert, film them. I, I'm sorry I yelled like that. I may cut that out so y'all might not even know what I'm talking about because I like scream. Or, I don't, these aren't bees. I don't know what these little guys are. Go away. Go, go, go. Part of camping outdoors, right? <laughs>